CNN News begins right now with a breaking news alert. And we're following breaking news tonight as we learn shocking new details in court today about the alleged murder and abuse of a New River Valley toddler. Mackenzie Hellman faces six felony counts in the death of his girlfriend's two-year-old son. We do want to warn you, some may find this new information very disturbing. That, in fact, 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett sat inside that courtroom today during this preliminary hearing, and she joins us now live tonight. Lindsay, investigators have, have told us the details of this little boy's death will shock and horrify the entire community. What did prosecutors have to say today in court? John, explicit text messages and photos of the alleged sexual and physical abuse were admitted into evidence today. Now, uh, this details what police say happened the day that two-year-old Stephen Meek II was murdered. Cameras were not permitted inside the courtroom where Hellman faced a judge and the members of the victim's family. Uh, investigators started by playing a 911 call from Hellman on January 11th, the day of that incident. But what really stood out was what was found on Hellman's phone afterwards. When police confiscated it, they found a picture of a sexual act being performed on Stephen using a sex toy, which Hellman later admitted to police that he asked Stephen's mother, Kayla Thomas, to send him because he was, quote, exploring the extent of his sexual needs. Officers also found messages from Hellman to Thomas asking her for sexual videos of her with Stephen. The medical examiner says Stephen died from blunt force head trauma. He had scratch marks and bruising all over his head and body and hemorrhaging near his brain and spine. Hellman originally claimed that Stephen fell from the bed while playing, but the medical examiner says there is no way that a fall onto a carpeted floor would have caused such serious injuries. Stephen's mother is also facing abuse charges, and Hellman's grand jury trial is set for January 28th. Live in Montgomery County, I'm Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you.